right, I'm Dwayne Ennis from the Nash restaurant in Calgary here. We're at Willow Park today promoting our seasonal Thanksgiving takeout menu as well as what we do takeout at the restaurant. And I'm gonna to cook today a salmon dish off our new seasonal menu that has a lot of the fall flavors that we like to use at this time of year. So I'm gonna start with a hot pan with some olive oil in it to sear my salmon, which I have rubbed with some moresh chilies and some smoked sea salt. And then we're gonna make a risotto with barley, chanterelle mushrooms, and a creme fraiche with a bit of dill and some truffle in it. So we're gonna get my pan nice and hot, and I'm gonna sear my salmon flesh side down to start with, to get some nice color and seal in all the juices. And while that's starting to sear, I'm going to start my risotto in my other pan. So for the risotto, we got some organic barley and some seasonal chanterelle mushrooms from Saskatchewan. In the pan, I have a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of olive oil. I'm just gonna add a little bit of fresh herbs. Salmon's getting a little bit of color. We're gonna flip it onto the skin and truss the skin a little bit. The skin on the salmon is gonna get nice and crispy now. We're gonna present that with the skin up if it's all nice and crunchy. Chanterelles are starting to cook a little bit. We're gonna add in the barley. So this kind of resembles a barley risotto, basically. You can do it with rice if you wish, but we like barley, it's a little more seasonal. So once everything's hot and cooked, we're going to finish it with the creme fraiche and a little bit of the greens. We got some baby kale and some purple beet greens. Gonna put in a little bit of lime juice. So with the creme fraiche, you basically want to get the barley hot and everything in the pan and then you want to take it and add the creme fraiche last. And that's just going to sort of cream it out. But you don't want to cook the creme fraiche too long. You just want to basically warm it up and let it coat the barley and all the greens. So we're going to put a little bit in our bowl. I also have some butternut squash puree that we did a bit earlier. Just going to put it along the back side of the bowl. And then we're going to take our salmon and lay it right on top. And then we're gonna to top it with our corn relish. Corn relish right on top. And that's our seasonal salmon dish from the Nash. Chef, this looks absolutely fantastic and I've picked two wines to go with it. Uh, traditional white wine from Argentina and a non-traditional red wine, because I'm a big red wine with fish fan. Both have been chilled. Awesome. So we're going to start with the Chardonnay. It's from the uh, Uco Valley in uh, Argentina. It's got a little bit of wood um, in it, a little oak aging. And I'm hoping to pick up on that beautiful butter in your squash yeah. dish. And of course, the richness of the salmon and the nice sweet elements in the corn. So let's have a taste here and see what we think. I'm getting a little bit of the corn and a little bit of the salmon. Then I'm gonna dip in my squash and try and eat this big mouthful gracefully. Mmm, -hmm. mmm, very good. Mmm, lovely cleansing, mm -hmm. Looks but well. lots of character. That mm -hmm. wine has lots of character, so does this dish. When you're pairing the dish, if it's a beautiful multi-layered dish like this, it has to have a wine with some complexity. So that's what takes me to red wine. Um, the uh, Coutelet de Beaucastel from uh, the Côte de Rhone region of France has four grape varieties. Uh, that helps it become a much more complex mouthful. I did mention I chilled it down and I think for me it's going to really pair nicely if I'm doing more of the barley and the mushroom bite with a little bit of the salmon. And uh, so I'm going to try that bite. Mm. Wow. Okay, now the wine. Mm. Oh wow, isn't that beautiful? It's awesome. It's you can really see good. it has good acidity. The 2017 vintage wasn't too warm, and so you need a wine with a good bit of acidity and not too much tannin when you're pairing with fish. Yeah. And uh, this wine fits the bill perfectly. I agree. Thank you, Chef. My pleasure. I'm Peggy Perry, president of Willow Park Wines and Spirits, and happy Thanksgiving.